Today I've got a double video for you guys. This is going to be on my Droid Bionic, also on my Droid Razor Max or Droid Razor. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys using Goo Manager. And I'm just using Goo Manager to download the application that you guys need or the the ROM that you guys need is what I should say. Um, so basically you download Goo Manager onto your device. This device obviously you're going to have to have safe strap installed, root access, you know, all those all those goodies um, on your device to do this, but you're just going to go in here and look for compatible ROMs. And I'm going to show you guys how to install this right here, Carbon ROM, Carbon ROM. And this says Spider, Spider is the code name for the Droid Razor, um, and Targa is the code name for the Droid Bionic. So you're just going to click on those you're going to click on the nightlies and you'll download the top one. Now I've already done that so I'm not going to do it. You're also going to need to download the Google applications for them. You can also do that through this and the Google applications are going to be the CM10.1 applications um, and those are also in here also. So I'm just using this app to download the, the ROM I'm going to install and it's going to be Carbon ROM and we're going to install it on here. The, the setup is almost exactly the same to install this. So I'm going to just go through it and I'm going to show it to you on both these devices. So first thing we're going to do is just uh, do a reboot here. So this device right now is running CM10 over here and this is running Blurry ROM on the Bionic. So we're going to redo a reboot and a reboot and they should both reboot and then you're obviously going to hit your safe strap button so basically what we're going to have to have is safe strap installed um, and you're going to want to install these ROMs on both the devices here so when we reboot into safe strap we'll go ahead and activate ROM slot 1 and we'll set this all up so go ahead and hit your recovery button right there the menu button and then over here should also be the menu button on the Droid Bionic. Or I'm sorry, the Droid Razor. This is the Droid Bionic. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so we're in here. We're going to go ahead and go to boot options. You can see blurred or blurried, whatever, is in ROM slot 1. We're going to go ahead and it's already activated, so we're just going to change the nickname over here to Carbon. Alright, and hit go. Then go back. See it's carbon, it's selected. So then all we gotta do is go to wipes and do cache back delvic back factory reset back system and back and then back again on the bionic here and then we're just going to go to installs and we're going to go look for this application which should be on up a level should be on SD card and then I think under goo and then carbon nightly and then we're going to add a zip and we're actually going to do the Google applications also and there they are so then we're just gonna go ahead and hit this and it's gonna flash both of those so while that's going on we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go ahead and change this also to carbon and uh, whoop. go ahead and install this one also because the install process is exactly the same and there we go it's done wipes cache back delvic back factory reset back you can see that's already running really good over there um, back system now the bionic or the the razor is a little faster as you're gonna see just as you can kinda watch as I'm doing this it runs just a little faster so we're gonna go to install and up and we need to find goo manager right there carbon and we'll add one we gotta go up a level I think it's in downloads. Maybe it's on SD card. Hang on. We'll find it. I can find this other one. Now you can see this one already finished over here. So we're going to go ahead and just hit reboot system. Where's my SD card? Oh, we got to go up another level. Hang on. 
SD card extension. I know I think it's under ROMs and then the bottom one, Google Applications. There we go. Then go ahead and swipe those and go ahead and let that install on the Droid Razor. Over here we got the Bionic. It's going to go ahead and boot up. Let's go ahead and see what the boot animation is on this device. Um, I'm not sure if Carbon's got a stock boot animation or what it is, so let's just go ahead and check it out. Ooh, pretty colors. So a white with the blue wording Carbon on there for the boot animation on the Bionic. And our Razer is still installing. So I'm just going to go ahead and let both of these boot up. Because as soon as this one's done, you're just going to hit the reboot button also. So we're going to let both these devices boot up. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little tiny bit of setup on them. And then we'll go ahead and show you guys the ROM and go through it all. Um, also, always remember, links to all this for both these devices is going to be in the video description down below. So let's let it set up and we'll come back to it. All right, here we go. Both the devices are booted up, the Bionic right over here, the Razer right over here, and you're gonna look pretty much exactly the same. I'm gonna show it to you guys on the Razer, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and check through the application drawer here. Um, so you can see you have a, it looks like a Sygen Mod file browser. You do have that Google Manager application already installed on here. It comes with the ROM, which is very nice. And you have this thing that's called Hollow. Don't really know what this is yet. I haven't really played with it, but uh, kind of a neat looking application right there. You do have Torch, obviously Google Play. Uh, the rest of this stuff looks pretty stock. Um, now let's go ahead and check out your pull downs right here. This is your notifications, this is your pull downs. Um, and go into settings. Go to about phone and you can see that this is going to be running Jelly Bean, which is Android version 4.2.2, the newest Android version at this point. And you can see there you go, it's got the bean, the jelly bean, and all the little beans. So very, very cool um, that that is in there. Everything looks good right there. Let's see what other things we got. We have super user built into the settings right here. Some permission setting stuff, developer options. Um, you have some advanced things here that uh, are on here. Whether you use external storage, use expanded internal or for apps media. So setting up some things there. And enable GSM signal strength fix, some stuff right there. Um, apps, okay, so then right here, this little thing that says carbon right here. This is pretty much, I mean, the the, app, the, ROM, the ROM is pretty much jelly bean, but this is what makes this ROM cool, is all the features there right here you have in carbon settings. So we can enable the dark UI and kind of darken things up a little bit right there. You have your theming, obviously you can download things for Theme Chooser from Google Play, all of those kind of goodies. You have performance, which is going to be your CPUs, your governors, your I.O. schedulers, that kind of stuff right here. Uh, changing your clock speed and things like that, um, which is very, very cool. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. We have carbon. So these are going to be like all of your interface settings where you can really just like theme out this device a lot. Um, the way you want it to look. So, you know, status bar stuff, power toggles, um, pie control for that pie launcher on the side. Um, so we can turn on pie control and then if I can get it to work here, control. Okay, so it's on the bottom right here. And you can do things on the bottom right there with pie control. Um, obviously, you have these settings. Here's your carbon settings to get you right into them really, really quick. Um, kind of a shortcut to get to them, which is pretty cool right there in your notifications or go back to settings and get into carbon So there are very good, you know all kinds of goodies in here. This is a really awesome ROM um, The interface is exactly the same over here on the droid bionic. I mean It's like for like um, Exactly the exactly the same so very cool, awesome. Carbon ROM is one of my favorite ROMs right now. It's very good. Develop ROM and on it is excellent. So there you go. That is Carbon ROM install on the Droid Bionic, the Droid Razor. Hope you guys like this video. Haven't done anything on these devices in a while, um, but very, very cool. So as always, guys, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.